Congratulations on completing the previous exercise and on generating a Poisson process. We are now going to make things slightly more complicated by writing a program to simulate the amount of money that is spent in a large department store during a day. The reason this process is more complicated than the straightforward Poisson process that we generated for the last type is illustrated on this slide. The issue now is not simply that the time that each customer arrives is random. The amount of money each of them spends is also random. Consequently, and as shown on this slide, unlike when we simulated the Poisson process, when we simulate a compound Poisson process, such as the one that describes the customer's total spend in our shop, the jumps in the value of the y-axis that occur whenever there is an event do not all have the same size. These jumps all have random sizes. As you can see here, these two jumps have very different sizes. With this in mind, have a go at the next exercise and see if you can write a code to simulate one of these compound Poisson processes. Good luck.